Hello guys and welcome. Today we want to talk about the borderless form. So what is the borderless form? Well, this is a component in the library that we have which allows you to set the form to borderless and apply additional styling to the form. For example, how do we use this? Well, we simply drag and drop it onto the form and by default, the form decoration will be changed to none. Out of the box, what features do we have? Let's run the project and see. So by default, we have enabled some features like when you drag, you can see the background, which is semi-transparent, and the docking is working. You can see the dock indicator, and by default, it's a transparent value applied to a full color of white. So we'll see how we can change this. But by default, out of the box, we can drag, we can dock, as you can see, and also by default we can resize the form. So now let's see additional features that we have. Let's see additional features that we have in the borderless form. By default the animate window is set to false, but if you set to true, the form can be animated. Let's see. Let's run the project. There you can see the animation happens. So the animation interval is 500 milliseconds. Guys, the animation interval is in milliseconds. So the higher the milliseconds, the higher the interval from start to finish. And you can change the animation type as well. Now, we have some features here. The dock form by default is set to true. But if the set is if this is set to false, the form will not dock. It will behave as just any other form which is undecorated and which has undocking features. You can see we cannot dock the form because we have set the docking to false. But by default the dock is set to true. Let's see other features that we have. We have the docking indicator is set to white. We can change this, let's say to red, and we can set the transparency of the indicator. Let's set this to 50. By default, it's 60, which means now when we are docking the form, the dock indicator or the snap which shows the new size will be a background of red. So let's allow docking and let's run the project to see the feature in action. There it is. It's a beautiful color. So you can set this to whatever color which matches your theme. You are not only limited to red or a few colors, but as you can see here, you can choose any color that you want to set to the indicator. And you can choose any transparency value. Remember that the higher the transparency value, that is the higher the background visibility. So the lower the color, the lesser the visibility. The drop end transparency is set to 100, which means that when the drop ends, the form will be set to a 100% solid color. But if we change this, say, to a lower value like 30%, it means 30% of the color will be shown. There will be some transparency value applied when the drag ends. Generally, by convention, people do not want this. But it's a feature in the event that you want this to be applied to your forms or to your dialogues. So as you can see, this is a solid color. So let's drag some semi-solids applied. But notice what happens when the drag ends. You see, the background changes. And when the drag starts, it's back to the normal color. And the drag ends, a 50% transparency value is applied. So remember that you can set the color of the form or the transparency of the form when the drag ends by default is set to 100 because we don't want our forms to be changing colors at the end of each drag 
drag form is set to true by default but if this is set to false you will not be able to drag the form dragging mode is set to form you can choose to target a control and you can put a control and that can start to drag the form dragging orientation is set to both which means the user can drag the form anywhere but if this is changed for example to horizontal the form will only allow horizontal dragging not vertical dragging as you can see you cannot drag vertically only horizontally the same applies when we change the drag orientation to vertical we can only drag vertically not horizontally so these are features that are available to you for customization and by default the drag orientation is both which means any direction can be dragged would you want your form to be transparent while being dragged by default it said to yes which is true you can say this to false now during drag no transparency will be shown it will be a full solid color through and through by default the shadow is applied to the form the drop shadow you can see it right there the drop shadow is applied to the form so you don't need to do anything by default the component the borderless component will apply the drop shadow to your form what are the features do we have you can apply the border radius as well to the form this is the default value set to red to, to to zero sorry the docking indicator is the one set to red but the borderless radius which is another feature is set to to zero if you set this to 10 you can see that the radius changes and by default the control will allow the component dragged on it to target the parent so the parent is the form and this borderless form is targeting the parent by default you don't have to do anything it will target this by default but of course you can come here and change the target mode and then you can set to control if you want but by default this is to form do you like the form to be resized by default says to true you can set this to false if you don't want any shadows there's form shadow you can set this to false then the shadow will not be shown and you can also change the shadow color so these are some of the features that we have so please friends try to play around with this borderless form and style your forms and you can see how they'll work thank you guys i'll see you in the next video